Hey everyone, welcome to Allied Live. I uh, hope you enjoyed our discussion. Uh, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna cover the Vortex drill a little bit. Uh, here we go. It's amazing drill. Our diameter ranges are four, uh, 12 to 47 millimeters. Um, we have twisted coolant outlets to help with chip evacuation. Um, our, our, I'm gonna cover our Vortex drill here for a second. Um, if you look at it from the top view, our center insert has a larger chip flute. That allows for better chip evacuation uh, with our coolant flow. And our, if you look at our periphery insert, it has a little bit smaller flute. Our uh, inserts are able to cut chips really well. Um, but I just want to be able to cover that ahead of time to let you know how our, why our drill works as well as it does when it's cutting an insert. Um, our inserts are four-sided. Two sides are for the outboard cutting. Longer edges are for the inboard cutting. We have an image below. The blue line is to show you the periphery. It has a higher rake on it. It's, it helps cut chips on the outside of an insert. And then if you look at the red lines, that's our center cutting inserts. It has more of a neutral rake to be able to withstand the forces and, and have the increased strength to be able to cut the chips. These drills are provided in two times D, three times D, and four times D depths of cut. Um, and we have insert geometries. They're ISO specific. Uh, they're proprietary coatings to help maximize our tool life, improve our cutting conditions to be able to machine those materials that we need. I have two um, case studies I wanted to cover uh, before we start running these drills. Um, the first one, uh, it was in a heat exchanger tube sheets. The objective was to decrease tooling costs. Um, so it was an Inconel 825 plate. Hole diameter was 964 thou, and the hole depth was 1.75 inches. Our competitor was running a little bit slower than what we ended up doing. Uh, they were about 400 um, RPMs, and we were just under 1,000 RPMs. Their uh, feed rate was 10 thou inch per rev. We ended up slowing that down a little bit to 3 thou inch per rev. So their penetration rate was just under 4 inches a minute, and ours was just under 3 inches a minute. Our competitor was only, be able, only able to achieve 30 holes um, of life we actually were able to maximize that to 100 uh, holes per life. So even though we were slower, we, was, we were still able to offer them about a 94% cost per hole savings over our competitor. So that was a great application we had. It worked out really well for us as well as the end user. Uh, the last one I wanted to kind of go over real quick, um, it was a, again for heat exchanger tube sheets. It was a 316 stainless. Um, the objective was to eliminate tool failure and have a, success, have a successful operation and difficult interrupted cut. Our, the thickness was uh, 375, and the hole diameter was 650 thou. So our customer or our competitor was running uh, 358 RPMs, and we actually bumped that up to uh, 2,352. The feed rate they were running was 2 thou, and we actually bumped it up to 2 thou and 4 tenths. So we increased our penetration rate to 5.6 inches per minute. Our competitor was struggling with tool failure. We actually were able to eliminate, able to eliminate that and actually provide a consistent drilling uh, operation. The Vortex offered 27% tooling cost savings over our competitor tools. So difficult applications, they were able to perform well. Um, I just wanted to cover that just because it's not just your typical alloy steel we're actually being able to be successful in we're actually able to get into the more difficult, harder to make chips um, uh, project. So uh, I want to introduce Rob. He's our engineering uh, trainer. Um, he's going to help uh, run this lab. All right. Thanks, Justin. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Rob Brown. I'm the engineering trainer here at Allied, and we're going to be running a demo for you today to show some of the un unusual things that you can do with a Vortex drill. Um, what we're going to be doing is drilling into an inclined plane that is about a 30 degree angle. Uh, we're going to do a series of different interrupted cuts uh, in the uh, material to show you uh, some of the capabilities of the Vortex drill. So the material is a 4140 alloy steel that's uh, 28 to 32 Rockwell in hardness. Uh, the tool that we're going to be using is a 2 times D 31 millimeter diameter Vortex drill and where uh, the tool is, is equipped with uh, P-geometry inserts, which is what we'd recommend to run in, in materials like this. 
So what we're going to do is actually uh, three different interrupted applications. We're going to, actually four. Uh, we're going to start with a, a, a cut where we're 30% uh, engaged with the tool. Then we're going to go to the other side of the part and be 50% engaged with the tool. And we're going to come into the middle of it. We're going to do a series of plunge cuts, which would be kind of simulating like uh, cutting out a cavity in a mold or something like that. We'll put three individual cuts and then cut out the material in between to make a continuous piece out of it. Then we're going to go up to the peak of the tool which, uh, and then drill a hole down into the peak to show you going into a, a really severe interrupted cut. Uh, the, ma the machine we're going to be running on today is a Haas VF3 Vertical Machining Center. That's a 30 horsepower machine. Uh, we have the coolant set at uh, 300 PSI. So we're going to be going through the tool with that. And the speed and feed we're going to be running this tool is uh, 600 surface feet per minute and 2.5 thou per rev, which is about 183 meters a minute and 0 0.06 millimeters per, revol or per revolution. And we're going to be drilling, uh, we're going to call it like an inchish deep because we're going to start into the interruption. We're going to do a full cut uh, for about an inch deep into the workpiece whenever we get to that uh, portion of the shell. So with that, let's bring Dave in. We'll get ready to run this thing. And, you know, once again, this is uh, alloy steel that's 28 to 32 Rockwell material. Uh, the tool is a two times D um, Vortex drill that's a 31 millimeter diameter. And the speed and feed that we're going to be running with this, like I said, is 600 surface feet, 2.5 thou per rev, about 183 meters a minute, and uh, 0 0.06 millimeters per revolution. Uh, the feed rate for this, since we're running in a, in a heavy interrupted cut, we're actually going to run a, uh, the feed rate at about half of where you would normally run it in this type of material um, to uh, compensate for the fact that we're going through such a heavy interruption. So Dave, if you're ready, we're going to get this thing ready to go and we'll kind of talk our way through it. Once again, we're going to start off with a 30% uh, involved cut. And there it goes. So you can hear you know, the interruption that it is going through, that's kind of normal for the application. That's the sound that you would expect it to make. And then it's going to come over to the other side of the part and it's going to do a 50% cut. So half the tools engaged in the cut while it's doing this. We're in the first cut, it was only 30% involved. So this is a little bit, uh, you know, more tool into the cut. You can hear that it's running a little bit harder because you know, we actually do have the center uh, engaged, but we're not fully cutting. Now we're going into that 30 degree incline and this is where we're gonna simulate doing a plunge cut. So we're gonna do, and you can hear, now we're drilling the entire hole. And then it's gonna come over and, and do two more of those. And then we'll come in and the area between the three holes that we're gonna make here, we're gonna cut those out so it's gonna be an interrupted cut all the way through. So that's the first one, it's just about done. Okay, so now it's going to come over and do the second one. So it's going to start off with a heavy interruption. Then it's going to quiet down once it gets fully engaged in the cut, which is right there. And one of the kind of cool things about the Vortex drill is whenever it makes that cut, a lot of times what you're going to see is a demarcation line between where it was in the heavy interruption, where you have uh, full engagement with the tool. With the Vortex, it actually has a nice smooth edge to it. Uh, the area where we're doing the, the complete interruption, in other words, after we go and, and go to drill the fourth plunge on this, uh, that area, since it's interrupted all the way through, the finish isn't quite as good. But on the holes that we're doing right now, the, the quality of the hole is actually quite nice consider the severity of the interruption that we're running here. So once we get done with this one, then it's going to come back through and, and basically cut out the material in between the three holes that we've just created to make it basically like a pocket mill. Okay, so here it comes. So it's gonna be in the interruption now through the entire cut because I'm cutting out the material in between the two holes. Once again, we're still running that 600 surface feet a minute, two and a half thou per rev, um, which equates to uh, metrically 183 meters a minute, 0 0.06 millimeters per revolution. Now you notice this one never got quiet because I'm never doing a full engagement cut because I'm cutting out that material in between. So here comes the fifth hole in that plunge cut and this will be the last one of those that we do. And it's obviously it's quite noisy but you got to remember what I'm doing here is I'm going into a 30 degree incline and I'm never fully engaging in the cut. So it's, it's roughing this thing up a little bit but it's designed to take it and it does a pretty good job of it. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to come and we're going to cut into the peak of the workpiece. Now this will get back to full engagement again so you can hear it quiets down once it gets down into that full engagement. But we're actually cutting into a 90 degree surface on a 30 degree incline. So that's a pretty severe interruption that we introduce the tool to. But it does a pretty good job of it. And we're not going to gather up chips and those kind of things to take a look because since almost all of this was done as an interrupted cut, of course we're not actually going to have uh, chips uh, that have to worry about being continuous or anything like that. So we're just going to open up the door here and have Kyle come over. We'll let Dave blow out the coolant out of the pockets that we milled here just a second ago so we can show you what the quality of that looks like. I don't need to get showered with coolant this morning. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at what we did here. So what we did is this is the third row in this material. So the first cut we did was this one here where we have 30 to about 30% engagement. Then we came over to this side, got 50% engagement, and you can see the whole quality is pretty good. There's a little bit of a burr on the end of it there, but that's to be expected based on the cut that it's doing. Then what we did is we came in and we drilled this hole, this hole, and this hole. And once again, if you look, the quality of this is really good. There's very little, uh, there's no line there that shows you whenever we got into full engage cut. Now when we did this hole and this hole, what we were doing was cutting out the little bit that was left in between here. So this was interrupted all the way through. And you can see this is a little bit rougher, but the design intent with this is then you would come in with an end mill and, and clean all that up. And we've actually shown that to you in another video that we did a while ago, so you can check that out if you want to. Then we came up here on the top and we did the peak. So obviously this is a severe interruption because we've got the material going this way and this way, and we're going right into that 90 degree surface and drilling down through. And it does a fine job of it. And you can see the tool is still ready to go. We can drill a lot more holes with that tool. There's no chips in the cutting edge or anything like that. Now, if you're doing a severe interruption like this and you do have some issues with uh, insert chipping or something like that, that's where I would recommend using like the H insert that we have for hardened steels because it has a little bit less, of, less rake on the cutting edge so it makes it a little bit stronger uh, tool. So that's our demo for today. And let Kyle kind of get in position there again. <laughs> and Jason, come on back, or Justin. It's my twin. That's right. He does have a twin brother. <laughs> and just to kind of close up here, uh, that did that job quite well. Um, once again, it's not the quietest application that you're ever going to run, but the severity of the, uh, of the interruption, it, that's what it does for you. And Justin, if you have any closing comments, go ahead. Um, uh, I know typically Allied's known as a spade company uh, to the market. We offer a lot of great tools. Uh, we have great services. We have great sales team. Um, so this is something we wanted to get out and let our field know that we can do these difficult applications. It's not just regular alloy steels or anything like that. We could do the high temps. We could do um, stainless, things like that, and also go into inclined blocks and actually uh, expand what we're known for. So um, our products work great. The Vortex works great. Um, Look forward to seeing everyone running it. All right. Well, Justin, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Hopefully it's been a, a good demo for you. And if you uh, have any questions, be sure to contact your field sales engineer or one of our application engineers. And we have lots of information online at alliedmachine.com. So you can reference that. And uh, thank you very much. And have a good day. Mm -hmm.